Guys, good morning. What is happening? What is going on? What is good? Hope you have a great day, guys. Today we're doing another reaction video. I'm going through a lot of these reactions today. It is the same day, same sweater, sweater weather, baby. Uh, that was so bad and cringy. That is so cringy what I just said there. I am so sorry, guys. Uh, so we have done tools, parable, parabola. We have also done Gajira's flying whales. So now I'm going to do, I'm still waiting to, um, to find out how I should be doing tools reflection video. I mentioned that already in the tool parabola video. Um, but yeah, I just want to do another tool video because why not? So until I find out how to do that video, uh, we'll be doing some more tool videos from their album. From their album, what's the album? Anima. So there are quite a few songs that I haven't done on this album. H, which is what we're doing today. Uh, I don't think I've done Hooker with a Penis either. Otherwise, I would have remembered. Uh, I haven't done Jimmy. I've done Push It. Have I done Anima? Yes, I have done Anima. And Third Eye, I haven't done. And you guys have been requesting that a lot. So... Yeah, guys, we have a lot of songs to go through from this album, so let's do it while I wait for the reflections thing. Uh, guys, this song is indeed six minutes long. It is actually a short Tool song. Damn, that's going to feel weird as shit, man. Uh, but Tool songs for me, they go this fast very, 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 very quickly. Uh, guys, I just want to say before we get started, thank you so much for the support. I truly appreciate it. I say this all the time and I cannot stop saying it. It is... Like, guys, I, I thank you so much for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. <laughs> Wakanda. What is up with the cringe today? Fuck. Guys, uh, I'm also selling my prints. So if you want to buy one or more, please get in touch with me on Instagram, DMs. Let me know which one you want and we can work it out, man. I will tell you a price for them. Um, the reason why I'm not telling you a price right now is because I need to figure out how much it costs to send it to wherever the fuck you live. So if you let me know where you live, um, then I can find out the price of shipping and shit and then we can get a price and I can send it to you. I have taken those pictures myself. They are mine of the beautiful Scotland. So yeah, guys, uh, if you guys want to do that, let's do it. Alright, so we've got Tool H, 6 minutes long, 4.4 million views, 17,000 likes. I am truly excited for this one. Let's rock and roll. You guys have requested this quite a bit, and I'm ready. Ready, baby. Guys, very nice guitar part.
So, from what I gather, <coughs> the. <coughs> <coughs> So guys, from what I gather from this song, this is uh, it's a pretty dark song, man. So this song, okay, first and foremost, I don't know if I was feeling that song, like, musically. I think, like, it was just a bit too, like, na 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 I, I just, see songs like that, I just don't like it. It's just too, like, I don't know, man. It's just... It's hard to explain, but see when things like that, it's like when, when bands say things like, save me from myself, or save you from yourself, I just, uh, and so like riffs like, -doo -doo -doo, I just don't like it. So for me, musically, it kind of lacked a bit, not even lacked, it just, it wasn't for me. Uh, but, I really like what this, well, I don't like what this song is about, because it's a sad fucking song, but the subject matter is what I'm kind of interested in. So, this talks about MJK's experiences, MJK, that sounds like a drug, uh, experiences as a new parent. Maynard has in many songs referred to the abuse he experienced when he was younger. Here he talks about the feelings that haunt him and how this has affected the relationship with his own son, Devo H. Keenan. So, What's coming through is alive, that's the kid. What's holding up is a mirror, but what's singing songs is a snake. So could that be like, like his parent, his father? Looking to turn my piss to wine, they're both totally void of hate, but killing me just the same. So what's coming through could be seen as his new son being born. What's holding up would then be his past, his memory of his father. Neither of these things are inherently hateful, yet they are still killing him metaphorically. This newfound relationship is making him look inwards and seeing himself as a snake. The snake is the biblical and historical representation of a liar. The snake could then represent the voice in his head, much like the tempter in the story of Adam and Eve. A snake is a creature who dwells in the dirt and is known in various lore to be smooth-talking and crafty. The I know quite a few fucking snakes, man, that's for sure. The liar is coming through as his own thoughts. Example, the snake lying through his own per perception of himself. The mirror, ooh. So he sees himself as a snake. What he sees in the mirror is not who he really is. So then, this is a bit that I'm interested in, looking to turn my piss into wine. So that refers to excuses we all have for our behavior. It is a way of pretending things are great when they are not at all. I am this way justifiably because of my past. He realizes he needs to confront his shadows and change. Having kids and being a father makes you do this. The snake behind me hisses. What my damage could have been, my blood before me begs me, open my heart again. And I feel this coming over like a storm again considerately. Venomous voice tempts me, drains me, bleeds me, leaves me cracked and empty, drags me down like some sweet gravity. The snake behind, who is the snake behind me? Is that like the devil? What my damage could have been, my blood before me begs me, open, my, open up my heart again. And I feel this coming over like a storm again, considerately. I am too concerned to you to slip away, to fade away. Days away, I still feel you. Touching me, changing me, and considerately killing me. That's pretty, that's beautiful. That's very beautiful. I am too connected to you to slip away, to fade away. Like, the shit that's haunting him could fuck him up, but he's too connected to his son to let... So his son is basically like the wall that separates Maynard from fucking himself up because of his past. That's insane, man. That's actually very beautiful. That's very powerful, like a kid can do that to you. Without the skin beneath the storm... You know, I totally get that because see when my cousin had his son... Um, who's my, like, <clears throat> who's like my cousin, 
Uh, I fucking loved him so much, man. Like, oh my god. I still do, by the way. I still do. But see, when he's like a, like, when they're like one, two years old, like, they're just so cute. And I felt like a big brother to him because his father, who's my cousin, um, was to me what I am to his son. You know, it's like that, that older brother figure is like, kind of like, all right, dude, here you go. Like, here's your, you know, first pack of, like, I'm not going to give him cigarettes or anything. But you know what I mean, right? It's kind of like, he's like your big brother. So he's like, like I am to him, like he can be, you know, like fighty fighty with me, but he can't with his dad, you know what I mean? So I kind of like love him as like a brother kind of thing. Um, so yeah, without the skin beneath the storm under these tears, the walls come down. That's so stunning, man. And the snake is drowned. And as I look in his eyes, my fear begins to fade. Recalling all of those times I could have cried then, I should have cried then. So that's like his abusive past. And as the walls come down, and as I look in your eyes, my fear begins to fade. Recalling all of the times I have died and will die, it's alright, I don't mind. Damn, man. I'm too connected to you to slip. I love how he ends the songs. Back to the beauty, man. I'm too connected to you to slip away, to fade away, days away. I still feel you touching me, changing me, and considerately killing me. Fuck. So this song's about his kid. Like, this song, in my opinion, is about his kid, right? Being the reason why Maynard doesn't slip into, like, some kind of crazy depression and killing himself from what he has faced in the past from his father like his abusive father man that is so beautiful like it, it's so crazy to think that Maynard's son is is that he has that much power to over his father you know what I mean like that's beautiful man that is that's insane uh yeah I have nothing else really much to say it's very it's very straightforward what this song is about but guys if I have gotten anything wrong, please let me know down below. You know how I like a good conversation. And I like to read your thoughts on these these songs. Guys, thank you very much for suggesting this to me. Uh, it's a very nice song. Like I said, musically wasn't for me. So I think musically I'll give this song maybe like a 3 out of 10. That's how I strongly feel. Lyrically, this song is absolutely phenomenal. Like 10 out of 10. Easily, man. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So guys... Without further ado, that is it. I will end this video here. I love you very much, guys. Have a great, beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Plenty more to come. Peace.